What's going on? Move the mouse back in City Skylines, the town of Springdale. Let's play Season 4, Episode 6. I, this is where I start to lose track. I'm going to have to start writing these down. So uh, we've got some growing pains happening. We zoned off a uh, little office triangle over here. We, uh, I did this offline, just painted this as commercial. So we're going to do commercial north and south of the park. Got a little office triangle here. We'll throw another one down here. But I want to zone out another uh, section of residential on this half of the city. Uh, right now we don't need it, but I want to at least start framing that out so that we can start to think about some metro stops once we get some money. And speaking of getting money, let's throw it on three times speed here so that we can start to resolve some of our issues. We're going to want to get more uh, garbage coverage. I also just noticed as I hit play, I rezoned this strip in all high density commercial so that those will hopefully grow up a little bit bigger next to the uh, the other giant buildings we've got in the area. So I think I kind of like that space for our central park. I think that'll give us some good room to play with. Um, you can see the, the university here. We're going to end up moving that and doing another little campus somewhere. But uh, But for right now, let's start zoning off some more streets. And in fact, maybe we can start to mess around with our traffic flow here. I'm going to have to move some people out to do this, I just realized, because I want to do this top street, I think, as a six lane. Let's see here. What are we doing with the cross streets? The cross streets have been so far bi-directional, six lane traffic. Let's do that up here before people get too comfortable. We'll move this park out for now. We'll just destroy it. And let's convert over to roads with bike lanes and upgrade this strip. And unfortunately, it's going to move some people out. But we'll rezone this and get back on pace to hit 11,000. What can't I move here? An elementary school. Let's delete this. Let's upgrade this road, let's fix our zoning, and we could upgrade that to a community school, most likely. That's going to disconnect a lot of power, I just realized. So back in here, we'll fix what we just broke, zone-wise. We keep moving a lot of people out to make these changes, but we're making the slow, steady climb. Let's see here, we'll throw in our first green school. Right here on the corner. Let's dezone this little pocket right here. We could always throw something like a taxi stand or something over here. Okay, that's good. That should move back in pretty quick. We've got the power connected over here. Get the power connected over here now. <laughs> But that was spreading power from here to here to across the street. So everything's good there power-wise. It was all connected to the grid. But just to be safe, we had run some uh, power lines when we were first expanding this part of the town out. We can delete those just to clean things up a bit. We don't need them anymore. Don't need those. We do still need these heading over to our water area. Though we could kind of connect it over this way to clean up our landscape a little bit do that and then we'll come in here and clean all this up oh we hit 11,000 excellent okay let's see what we unlock there monorail definitely want to do some monorail around this city at some point I probably won't put it on the roads we'll do it at uh kind of out on the outskirts. We did unlock the train station, but the downside to this map is this does not have any outside rail connections. So the only way we'll be able to really provide train service is an internal network. Let's upgrade this before I forget. This has created kind of a mess of traffic here at this intersection. So let's upgrade the other side of it and then we'll set our uh, stop signs accordingly. Upgrade this. So all of our cross streets are going to be bi-directional. 
We've got bi-directional bicycle lane roads running up and down either side of the park. And then on the outskirts, we've got six lane roads that run north to south, south to north. This one goes all the way across this bridge. This is two-way traffic coming over that way. We'll have a one-way bridge over there. What is this one? This is crossroads. Okay, that's uh, two-lane, two-lane, two-way traffic. We had to get away from the constant alternating grid um, of Manhattan that I was kind of going for initially because this is kind of a weird layout down here towards the water. But we could start playing around. Uh, let's fix zoning before I forget because I always forget. And then we have these tiny little buildings that move in. We want the big stuff to move in. In fact, let's... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to dezone all of you. I'm so sorry. Don't move out. Don't move out. I meant to be on the bulldozer tool to move some of these smaller buildings out. While we've got commercial demand, let's let some of that repopulate. In fact, we'll go ahead and bulldoze these streets. Oh. <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Getting crazy with the bulldozer here. It's a miracle that the uh, the casino survived last season with all these uh, bulldozer accidents. Fix our zoning again. Make sure all that's highlighted. Can't zone that because that's a hospital, I believe, the med clinic. We're not going to zone off anywhere in the park. And we are going to move that um, university building at some point. Look at all the problems over here, huh? Let's double check our policies. Make sure that we are pushing people towards schools. So that, wrong tab. Uh, wrong tab again. Uh, so that we can make sure we're not. I don't think we had unlocked this when I last looked at it. Um, education overworking. So let's get people into university. Let's get them educated so that when they're ready. 1600 of 4500. So we're good there for a little bit. Let's cram in a couple more schools with the money that we've got left. Throw it back on play. Let's look at elementaries. And I think we're going to convert over to... I think we're going to convert over to the green buildings. We need up a little bit more space, unfortunately. But it's got a nice look and feel in our green neighborhood here. There's one over here that we need to convert. Let's do that next. So we'll throw that in there. See where what were we doing for elementary? Skipping a block and then going to the other corner. Right? We skipped. We skipped. We'll skip and we'll go to this corner somewhere. Um That looks good. And we'll do the same thing down here because we need a ton of coverage. But let's do it right here. Let's see what that looks like. Nowhere near where we need to be. It's crazy how small the... Um... The coverage is for these. Wow. Um... So not only do they have a bigger footprint, but they support less students and they cost more money. It's crazy. Do we have to do one on every block? <laughs> let's throw one on every block. Let's see here. So let's go kind of diagonal. That last one. We'll throw one over here. Still not even anywhere in the green. That's the only place our residents are right now. We've got one over there. Let's get one on this block and this corner. And we're moving people out, therefore reducing the number of uh, schools that we need as a result. We'll throw one here. We've got one on every block, basically. Just to get us into the yellow. That is crazy. Alright, well, it's a start. Let's look at our high school coverage. Whew. Man, high school's bad. So let's find a spot to cram some of these in. Maybe this zoning over here. We'll do right about there. And then we're going to do one more. Just trying to spread them out a bit. Is this too far up? 
No, that should be good. I think I just disconnected that uh, power line to the water supply, so let's get that sorted back out. Garbage is a problem. Now, this road up here runs traffic north. When you get to the end of the street, and only turn left, nobody's going to be coming this side of the street because there's no place for them to go other than to a residence. So let's give at least a little bit of a reason to come up this way. And we'll start kind of filling in some of this zoning up towards the highway. Let's see. So I think for this one, up here, it's going to be a little bit less trafficked. Let's just connect this all the way up here. So that way up here by the highway, we can throw in a couple more recycling plants. Let's see what kind of coverage that gives us. Oh, did I never, I never resolved that problem either. So we had the recycling up here. It is on its own separate segment on the highway. So it's not doing a good job covering down here. This should resolve most of our problems. I'm hoping. Let's power it. Do we need water coverage for those? I feel like we do. If not, we should. Do that, and then we'll just connect it right into the pipes from there. Just in case we end up zoning there. It's that one little piece that wasn't covered. So that should solve some of our garbage problems in uh, Beamer Square. Sorry, Dave. We didn't mean to turn... Uh, your district into a temporary trash dump, but we will solve that ASAP. Sorry, sorry. Um, Adia, your zone's doing great. <laughs> but we know why that's a problem. I really wanted to commit the space. I think if it, it looks really nice, right? If, if all these abandoned buildings weren't there. It does look nice. A, a nice uh, high-value waterfront property here for all those skyscrapers. So we'll... Uh, We'll make it work yet. It's just going to take a little while for that to uh, to kind of even itself out. We've got commercial space down here that hasn't filled up yet. That is slowly but surely filling out. I wonder if we should have zoned this off as like nightlife or something down here, kind of separated out. Could have done that, you know, leisure spots down here on the water. Maybe we can find a little neighborhood down there. We'll We'll come up with something. I keep saying it, let's zone off the other side of the park. What were we doing? Four? I feel like we were doing four. Let's double check that. So this is 1800. Sixteen hundred. Oy. What was I doing here? Pause. So that's four. Were we going 45? We were going 45, weren't we? So let's do another five. And check that again. And that should be 1800. It is. Okay, so it's 45. And this should be lined up with these nodes. Let's see. Yeah, we're good there. Okay. If you keep your roads even length when you're creating them, it makes using these nodes and kind of snapping things together a whole lot easier. We'll do this. And then that's six lane bicycle. And then let's see what we did over here. So we have six lane bicycle, bi-directional traffic either side of the park. Let's unpause it. So we need those students to get educated and get jobs. Oh, come on, come on kids. We need you out there. We need you in the workforce. All right, so we have this main avenue is six lane 
traffic bi-directional on either side. And then we have a road going south. And this other road carrying traffic north. North, south. Let's go north and we can fork this off from here maybe. You know what? We could split this road into bi-directional traffic at that point. So let's go from here with a one-way north. Right? North? I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. I want to alternate this. So if this is coming south, we want this to go north and connect up through here. Just to kind of separate out the traffic a bit. So if you're, you know, on this half of the city, you want to get up to the top, get back to the highway for now, that becomes hopefully a faster route, and it reduces the number of turns and things that are happening along the way. Now, we are creating intersections. We haven't gone back to really clean those up yet. We will at some point. Let's connect this all the way down as far as we can to the water. We'll do, we'll do like that. One shy of when it starts building a bridge, basically, when it starts putting up markers. And then let's make this bi-directional traffic. Connect it up like that. We can build that down there to the coast. And let's see, let's finish off our last couple grids here. So this one's going to be a bike lane coming through. And then we can grid off the rest of the way, assuming that those are lined up right. Looks like it is. Whoops. So let's bring this across and... Ooh, 18,000. Excellent. We'll take a look at those milestones in just one second. I didn't see what our top tier is in this town. Let's uh, let's look at that. Not upgrade, not repair. So we've unlocked water treatment, good. Crematoriums, new area, those are the most exciting things. So by the time you unlock the crematorium, you're usually about to have a nice death wave, so that should be fun. Let's get ready for that in advance and throw some cemeteries in Central Park. We can't move them if they're populated. So let's pause the game real quick. This is, is split evenly, this this half of the park from this half of the park. So one, two, three, four, five. If we can kind of line it up with those blocks, I think that would be good. It's going to be a little bit one square off center. So I'm going to go towards the outer edge of the park. Like that. And we'll come down here. That should work, and it doesn't really disrupt the flow of Central Park that much. I hope it doesn't. I think it works. I think that'll work. I gotta think about this for a minute, because this is gonna be very essential to the rest of the build. It's what this is all about, and I I wanna I wanna think about this for a minute. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? Hmm. No, I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do it. We're gonna plop them in. Worst case. If we had to, the quick way to empty these out on the disasters tab all the way over here at the end is the sinkhole. So you can actually sinkhole these, whole thing collapses into the ground, you flatten the terrain, you're good to go. Worst case, we have to like rebuild the road next to it. There's no other park objects or anything in here. We're just going to do it. We're going to run with it for now, and I can always rethink that later. Death care. We're going to throw a crematorium on every single one of these. Interior. For symmetry, not oh wow. 
Do we have loans we can take out? Take out this loan. Pay that back and take it out again. Now we've got some money. 25,000 per crematorium. Man. We're getting ready for that first big death wave to hit the city. It will happen at some point. What we can do to save a little bit of money in the meantime is let's turn these buildings off. Certainly at least most of them. Hopefully I remember to turn those on once the uh, the first death wave hits. Let's see where our cemetery's at right now, actually. 93 of 3,000. I may have gone a little bit overboard on uh, death care coverage. Maybe I jumped the gun on that one. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's hit play now that we've dumped a ton of money into uh, cemetery coverage that we don't need yet. Let's uh, let's look at info views. No, let's look at city info and statistics. And let's take a look. Death rate was on the climb. It is... 2022. November 2022, so almost 2023. We'll see when that death wave hits. When we start seeing death everywhere, we'll know whether I jumped the gun way too early, which I think we did. Uh, we did not extend this network all the way out to the south, so let's do that. Before people complain and move out, we got enough problems as it is in this town. We don't need them moving out because of lack of fresh drinking water. Let's connect down from here, I guess. Four forty, bring that over just enough. We'll keep uh, stamping out this grid. So we've got space. We've got commercial on either side of the park. Let's do one more thing before we quit today. And let's start upgrading this road network. So again, the way that I was thinking of this, building this very much off the idea of Manhattan. So we've got our big central park. We've got uh, six lane bi-directional avenues on either side. You probably heard me say it before, but I just want to recap one more time. And then we're alternating these really large avenues, north to south, south to north, north to south, to kind of funnel people different directions. The east to west boulevards, if you will, I should check my traffic situation over here. Do we make lights? We did not make lights, and we need some sort of uh, some sort of way to funnel people around. You seem very confused here. Need a traffic manager mod on uh, on Xbox. So the main east to west avenues; those are also bi-directional traffic. Those are all bike lanes. We have one running through the center of the park which we had to convert this little centerpiece to uh, crosswalks so that we could uh, have people get from one half of the park to the other without having to do uh, overpasses. Water availability is a problem right now. Let's double check our budget. Always getting sidetracked. Ugh, I commented on this earlier that I would forget, and I did forget. We've got all those buildings moved in. Now we can make some uh, revenue off of them. That's a lot of revenue, probably 3% over each period that we weren't earning off all the residents we converted over. Uh, let's convert the traffic now to get people funneling uh, different ways. So we're going to alternate one ways. Let's see here. I'm going to see where most of the traffic It's all residential traffic, so it shouldn't matter too much. But we'll go to one-way roads. And we're going to upgrade these. All the way across. Now you can't, for whatever reason, hold down the button to do uh, upgrades. You can do it for direction shifts. So I'm going to change these. Okay, so all the traffic on this road is now going that way. It's going to minimize some of our cross traffic, I hope. So let's do the same thing. And we're just going to do this street after street after street, upgrading them. I just said you can't hold the button, and then I tried to hold the button and, and do it. 
Um, so this is going to take me a minute. I will, uh, I'll be right back. And then we can probably call it a day. So while I was doing that, we got to our next milestone, which enables our third loan, and we will absolutely take that. Um, so that puts us in a fairly good spot, 400,000. What is our water situation? I think uh, we were running low on water and I got sidetracked. It happens all the time. Let's sort that out. I believe that snapped into the pipes. It did. It broke our power, but that's okay. And let's demo these. Start going green. play we'll see how that's doing make sure those are connected then we'll call it quits i can uh, i can finish this uh this kind of road network off camera so let's take a look kind of at, at what's happening with traffic now there's definitely some some ways that we could better funnel stuff off holy shnikes a lot of these are trucks that are coming off into here getting right into and waiting for uh, a way to come into the city so the industry's trying to deliver goods to all the commercial stuff. Uh, we'll eventually change this on and off ramp so that it feeds into different parts of the city. Because uh, right now it's definitely just way too much traffic. Uh, maybe we could even fork this and split it right there so that if people want to come to the city this way or that way, they can use the same exit but then split off into two different routes. That might help speed things up a little bit to uh to get people off here this isn't helping right now we'll do a quick check of this intersection we'll stop everybody that isn't coming from the highway maybe that will speed things up a bit i don't know we could always convert those over to one-way streets so that all this traffic is coming away from the highway then maybe traffic going back up to the highway that might work too. So we'll we'll play around with that a little bit. Um, this was okay for a while, but that is obviously very problematic because we don't have any direct route to get from industry into here. We could try, since this side is not very trafficked, just connecting them up directly and see what that does. So I'll finish uh, these one ways. Where are the one-ways? I only went that far, okay. So I'll finish these one-ways alternating east to west all the way down the city, with a few exceptions. Like, I think the way that these kind of integrate a little funny, so these might stay two-ways, these bendy ones, or these ones that are already connected to two-way avenues on the side. But uh, hopefully that will help manage traffic flow a little bit. Let's throw it on cinematic and just kind of see what's happening over here. We zoom in just enough. You can see most of the cars popping in. I okay, see things are flowing. You know, there there's very little stoplights around there. So we'll we'll work on this part and uh, and try and get that all fixed up. And hopefully some cars. Yeah, they're already taking that route to get trucks in and out of the city. Now that is going to have the consequence of generating more traffic on this road. Which is still going to back up over here, so we'll... It, it's a battle, it's not anywhere near finished. And uh, and we will get there. We'll also run a highway kind of around this way. Maybe come out 
in kind of midtown on this side of the river and give people some other ways to get around but we'll keep growing we'll keep expanding we'll keep uploading this three days a week this let's play is running monday wednesdays and fridays each week so check back for new episodes gonna try and stick with the live streaming on sunday at 9 eastern is a pretty good time so uh, hopefully you'll be able to join and we'll be building a different city uh, in that series i'll be uploading other cities content uh, in the meantime, too, focusing on some of the mods that I really like to highlight, maybe doing some other theories and design videos as well. And uh, there's some very exciting stuff uh, on the horizon. I've got a roadmap for uh, quite a lot of content going out. But as always, really appreciate the comment and feedbacks. Join the Discord, follow me on Twitter. If you did enjoy the video, likes, comments, shares all help the channel and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications. And until the next one, when we will continue working on our grid and populating our massive downtown or our massive Central Park, this is Move the Mouse signing off.